When I graph an inequality, or a system of inequalities, one of the steps is that I have to determine whether to use a solid or dotted line to represent it. The top inequality is y less than x plus 3, and I have already prepared a table of values. I am going to put the dots on the graph for these points. 1, 4 will be here, negative 3, 0 will be here, and 0, 3 will be here. I'm ready to draw my line. But what I have to do is stop and look at the symbol. I see less than, not less than or equal to. Because less than does not include points on the line, I have to represent this with a dotted line. So doing the best I can without a ruler, I'm drawing a dotted line through these three dots. Use a ruler when you do it. Example 2 has y greater than or equal to 2x minus 2. And again, I have prepared a table of values. I'll put the dots first. 0, negative 2 goes here. 2, 2 goes here. And 1, 0 goes here. Now it's time to draw my line. This time, I have greater than or equal to. Because it also includes or equal to, it means the points on the line are part of the answer, and I express that by drawing a solid line. Again, use a ruler to do this, but I'm going to do my best without a ruler. And apparently my best is not very good. This is not finished, of course. These equations are not graphed until we have done the shading step, but that is the subject of a different video. So remember, less than or greater than means a dotted line. Less than or equal to or greater than or equal to means a solid line. Here are a couple more examples that involve a horizontal line and a vertical line. In example 3, y is less than or equal to 2. And I have prepared my table of values. 0, 2 goes here. 3, 2 would be here. And negative 3, 2 is here. It's time to draw my line. I look at the symbol and I see it has the or equal to line under it. That means I need to draw a solid line. And I do so. That means that the points on the line are part of the answer. In example 4, x greater than negative 2, again I have prepared a table of values. Negative 2, 0 is here. Negative 2, 2 is here. And negative 2, negative 2 is here. I'm ready to draw my line, but I see the symbol is greater than. It does not have the extra or equal to line. So I have to draw a line to make it clear that the points on the line are not part of the answer this time. Again, I'm not finished if I'm graphing these inequalities because I still have to do the step to determine which side to shade, but that is the subject of another video. Dotted lines for greater than and less than, and for greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, we use solid lines.